James Allen, the maker of Drift Kings, a really unique car racing board game. Can you please tell us about, more, uh, about the game more? Yeah, for sure. So Drift Kings is a racing game. Um, it's unlike other games where they try to simulate the strategy of racing, this is really about learning how to drive your car most effectively around the track, um, accelerate, decelerate in the right spots, find the apex of turns, that sort of thing. Um, so the game uses a really unique movement mechanic. Um, I'll just grab a couple of tiles. So there are tiles representing the gears of your car, one through five, and they get chained together like so. So each tile plugs into the previous tile, and these are, you're plotting your movement on the track. And you can see if you're down here traveling in first gear, first gear doesn't move you very far along the track, but the way the tiles fit together, first gear pivots about 45 degrees left and right. So although you're not moving very far, you've got lots of control over the handling of your car. If you're all the way up here in fifth gear, you're moving quite a ways along the track, but you can see it only pivots about three degrees either way. So you're moving as fast as possible. That is so realistic. Exactly, yeah, oh yeah. So God. it simulates the handling. Yeah, yeah. You have to chain through the gears in order. So you can't, just like in a real car, you can't just go from first up into fifth. You have to go through them, and then you have to, when you slow down, go back through them again. So they also simulate the acceleration and deceleration of your car. Um, and you can play, you, you play out five, five of the tiles, you can always play a tile one higher, one lower, or the same gear as the previous tile played. So I could play one, two, three, four, five, or I could play one, two, three, two, one, or even one, two, three, 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 um, as long as I'm chaining the gears together. So that's basic movement around the track, but the game's called Drift Kings for a reason, and that's because you can drift. Now, drifting uses a couple of special tiles. Uh, just like any good drift in real life, you start out with a handbrake tile, and you can see once you've played a handbrake tile, a normal movement tile doesn't fit into a handbrake tile. A handbrake tile has to be followed by at least one drift tile. Uh, drift tiles fit into the corner of the previous tile played. They can be pivoted just like a normal tile, but they can also be slid out along their flat side. So that's like to simulate feathering the throttle and getting your, your tail end where you want it to be. Once you've played a drift tile, you can follow it up with another drift tile, so you can continue your drift around a turn. Same rules, it can be rotated and slid out along its flat side or you can follow it up with a normal tile. Uh, drift count is being in gear two, so you can come out in first, second, or third. Now drifting is not necessarily the best way to make it around a turn. In fact, it actually slows you down through a turn just like in real life. But if you do it properly, this little green square in the back of the tiles, if your drifts get into this zone, so if you get that green square right into a drift zone around the track, you're gonna earn points. And those points, although they count for nothing at the end of the race, they allow you to break certain rules of the game. So, for instance, I mentioned you have to chain through the gears in order. For three points, you can purchase a power shift, which lets you skip a gear. So I can go straight from first up into third, or if I'm, I don't, you know, I'm deep into a turner, I can use it to slam on the brakes a bit. Uh, for six points, I can purchase a nitro boost, which lets me play an additional tile on my turn. So I can get a little further ahead in the race. Um, there's also some maneuvers you can do if you come up right behind somebody, you can actually let them block the air for you and come up right next to them and slingshot around them. And then there's one last maneuver which is uh, bullet time. So normally players only have 30 seconds to take their turn. They can use bullet time to give themselves a bit of extra time to, to take their turn if they're trying to do a tricky maneuver. Um, so that's the, the whole race. The race is two laps around the track, although we're doing one lap demos today. And uh, first across the finish line wins. If more than one player makes it across the finish line on the same turn, it's the person furthest across the finish line that wins. And there's a couple extra rules we're still playing around with with the ending to make it a bit more exciting. Um, the race kind of slows down into photo finish mode and it's this edge towards <laughs> the finish line. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the game. That sounds very exciting. Thank so you. how many players can play this game? Uh, so it's between two to four. Two to four, yeah. Um, and it actually plays fantastic at each of those levels. A two-player race is really a, you know, a battle around the track with each other. I can imagine. Yeah, yes. and a four-player race, that sometimes it's chaos and you know, people get left behind, but then they're right back into the race. And yeah, that's, it's just... that's a very unique game. Yeah, so um, when can we get our hands on this game? Uh, so at the moment, this game has been picked up by Good Games Publishing, uh, and they've given me first quarter of 2019. So early next year, you should be able to find the Kickstarter. Um, I, I want to point out there's a number of components in the game easily lost, so I'm recommending maybe even pick up a second copy, just so you make sure that you've got enough. <laughs> probably make a great gift for your friends and family. Maybe you want to get a few copies. But yeah, early next year is the date. That sounds really good. So obviously, this is just a prototype copy. That's right. And the game's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. The um, I mean, we have even started talking about final artwork. 
Um, and of course, these cars were something that I purchased online, so that the models will change. Um, Good Games is very focused on high quality components in their games, so they will be a very nice model in the game. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're headed. So. Thank you so much for that, James. Well, thank, thank you. you for joining us for the interview. So check out the, um, uh, the game on Kickstarter soon, and we can find you as on social media. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So there is a Board Game Geek page uh, for the game, which you can visit and get some more info. There's actually a really cool time-lapse video I took of people playing the game, so you can kind of see it in motion. Looks just like a real car race. Um, and then, of course, if you go to Good Games Publishing website, sign up for their newsletter, you'll get an announcement once the Kickstarter's online. Everything sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.